Carpal tunnel syndrome occurs when swelling within a tightly enclosed area of the wrist, known as the carpal tunnel, puts pressure on the median nerve that passes through it. Over time, this can cause progressive numbness, tingling, and weakness, where the median nerve sends its branches to the palm and fingers of the affected hand. There are two common ways to perform the surgery. In the traditional open procedure, the surgeon begins by making a single incision in the palm and wrist. He or she will then dissect through the underlying tissues to reach the transverse carpal ligament and cut it, creating more room for the median nerve. Newer, minimally invasive techniques require only one or two tiny keyhole incisions in the palm or wrist rather than a single, relatively large incision. It is designed to produce a shorter and less painful recovery period. I do this procedure using a single incision in the palm. After making the small incision, I insert a fiber optic device into the carpal tunnel. Images from its camera are magnified and projected onto a video monitor in the operating room. This allows me to confirm the location of the transverse carpal ligament and median nerve. The transverse carpal ligament is then cut using a specialized blade designed to work with the fiber optic device. I have found that when the incision is made in the palm, suturing